My name is Daniel Roy, and today I'm going to use this deck of cards to tell you a little bit more about my rather unique family structure. So let's get started. I have two moms and also two dads. They're not divorced and I'm not adopted. So my two dads are gay and my two moms are lesbian. And the two couples had been friends for many years and then decided to have and co-parent a kid, me. Now the two couples live about 10 minutes apart. And so growing up, I would actually alternate houses every night by choice. So what is it like growing up with four parents? Well, holidays are great because I would get two times as many presents. But if I ever got in trouble, it was not so great because I would have four different people to answer to. First, I'd have to apologize to my two moms, and then I'd have to apologize to my two dads. And if one of the parents happened to be traveling, well, then I'd have to have the same conversation three different times. And if two of them happened to be traveling, well, then I would have to apologize to all four of them individually. Not so fun. Now I mentioned that I would alternate houses every night, and there are seven nights in a week, so I would spend four nights a week with my moms and three nights a week with my dads. And when I was six or seven years old, they asked if I would rather just spend seven nights at one house and then seven nights at the other house. But I said no way, because I'd been alternating houses since I was three months old. I was way too used to it. Now my parents have a rather sick sense of humor. They like to joke that because my four parents are gay and lesbian, and yet I turned out straight, get it, a straight, that whatever this gay agenda is, it clearly fail. Now, I'm lucky to rarely have received any pushback against my family. Although one time when I was about 10 years old, uh, I was at summer camp and I was explaining my family structure to my roommate. And he asked if my parents made out in front of me all the time. This comes from the stereotype that gay people are overly sexual. Uh, in response, I just asked him if his two uh, straight parents made out in front of him all the time. I mean, of course not, right? So how did my family come into being? Well, my parents would have the same conversation every year for about 10 years of whether or not they should have a kid. And while two of the parents were rather tentative, the other two were quite tenacious. And when my biological mom was 39 years old, she said, look, it's now or never. So when I was born in 96, uh, I actually had nine grandparents. You'd think it would be eight because of the four parents, but actually one of the grandparents had remarried, so it was nine. And when gay marriage was legalized, I had the distinct privilege of being the ring bearer for my two moms and then being the ring bearer for my two dads. They had back-to-back -back weddings on the same day. And that is the story of how my four parents came together to form a family that we call the five of us. Now, I showed this trick to my parents because, of course, I wanted their feedback. And they liked it. They did have one criticism, though. They didn't like how the backs of the cards were all the same color. They thought I should use some cards that were a little bit more fabulous in nature. And that's it. That's the story of my family structure. And that routine I did was my attempt to take all the questions that I get asked every time I talk about my family structure and set them to a magic trick that uses exactly 52 cards and a joker, of course. Now, of course, two of my parents are my biological parents. The other two are my non-biological parents. They're all equal parents in my eyes, and they're all equal parents in their eyes. And although I use the term biological to distinguish between the ones I'm literally biologically related to and the ones I'm not, that word has almost faded out in my mind. I just think of them all as my moms and my dads. Also, since people always wonder, I, I do not, in fact, have a favorite parent. They really are all equal parents in my mind. I, I truthfully do not have a favorite of the four. Or a least favorite, maybe. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I really, I don't have any favorites. Now, as I mentioned, I'm very fortunate to rarely have received any kind of pushback against my family. And that's because I very much grew up in a bubble. I grew up in San Francisco, which is a very accepting city. The schools I went to growing up emphasized a culture of acceptance. So I know I'm very lucky to have grown up in this kind of environment. And in the one example that I did talk about, where my roommate at summer camp was asking if my parents made out in front of me all the time, those weren't his ideas. We were 10 years old. He didn't self-generate any prejudice. Those were ideas that he had inherited from his upbringing or from his his friends or his environment. Those aren't his ideas that he 
chose and picked out for himself, but we're just not that consciously capable at the age of 10 in terms of forming our ideas and opinions and identities. But I think that through meeting me and realizing that just because I was the son of gay parents, I wasn't some kind of alien, he started to realize that by the end of the week, gay families were not that different from his family and that we had a lot more in common than he might have otherwise thought. Now, gay marriage was legalized in 2015 throughout the United States, and it was briefly legal in 2008 in California before Proposition 8 passed. And there was a very small window during which gay marriages were allowed in San Francisco in 2004. And that's when my parents originally were intending to get married. Now, I distinctly remember being really excited for my parents' wedding. And about a week before their wedding was scheduled, they picked me up from school and they told me that they weren't allowed to be married anymore and that weddings had been called off, but that people were fighting it and people were hoping for change, and they asked if I wanted to make a sign and go to a protest, and I said yes. Now, as you can see, at the age of seven, I wasn't very good at spelling, and I also lacked a nuanced understanding of how gender exists on the spectrum, but those two points aside, I really do like the sign that I made. Now, one important thing to mention is that I am the son of gay parents, so when my roommate at summer camp asks me an insensitive question, or when someone posts a comment on the internet that says something disparaging about my family structure. These certainly bother me, but that's nothing compared to the vitriol and hatred that my parents have had to put up with, and that other people they know and their forebearers in the LGBTQ plus movement have had to put up with. And of course, a little over five years ago, they literally didn't have equal rights in the United States. And that is why this matters to me so much. Magic is just the way that I express my ideas. Some people express their ideas through music or through dance or maybe writing plays. For me, it's setting things to magical backdrops. And I hope that in some way by setting the structure of my family and all the stories that accompany that structure to a magical backdrop, maybe this will show some people out in the world that families like mine exist and that if you want to co-parent, you can. Because when my parents were thinking about having a kid, there wasn't a template. It was very rare that families like this would exist. They didn't really have people to look up to or other families to think about as examples. And so I hope that when people today who might want to be in a co-parenting type situation or who are gay parents and are wondering about having kids, I want them to know that these families exist, they're here, and they are just as full of love as any other family can be. And this leads me to my final and most important point, which is that the main benefit of having four parents, like I do, is that I have four different people to test out magic tricks on. So thanks, mom and mom and dad and dad, for being such wonderful audience members. <laughs>